We've all had it happen to us, a smoke alarm accidentally going off when there's no fire emergency. But when firefighters actually have to respond to those calls here in the capital city, is it costing you, the taxpayer? News Channel 20's Evan Peterson live at the fire station with the answer. Evan, what did you find out? Jordan, I'm here downtown Springfield at the fire department where firefighters are ready to respond to all different types of calls. Last year, they responded to 1,400 false alarms. Out of those 1,400, roughly 200 were a malicious alarms, meaning that there was no fire at all. Regardless, they still want you to check your fire security systems so you don't end up wasting their time and yours. We've all had it happen before. A fire alarm goes off and there isn't a fire emergency. While this may be a nuisance to us, firefighters say these issues are expected. For us, it's pretty much a routine part of our business. We're, it's nothing out of the ordinary for us. The Springfield Fire Department is classified as a career fire department, meaning they're getting paid, alarm or not. If an alarm goes off frequently, however, then it's a problem. If we're there three or four times a day and the property owner just isn't taking care of business or getting his alarm maintained, we have the means to bring that property owner into administrative court and issue him fines. Putting in a false request is punishable up to a class four felony, which could land the caller in prison. It may be inconvenient for the residences or the business owners. The alarm system are functioning as designed. So what, what the layperson calls a false alarm versus what the fire service calls a false alarm, two different things. Fire departments classify a false alarm as a fire investigation when an alarm goes off and there's no fire emergency. A malicious alarm is when a person lies and reports an emergency when there isn't one. The Springfield Fire Department is comprised of 12 different stations with 200 firefighters. That means when an alarm goes off, they need to get in these trucks and go. It could be any number of factors from environmental exposure to water damage to ice to hot and cold. Uh, anything you name can affect electronics just like anything else. John Archer, a former firefighter turned fire safety manager for a security company, says while fire systems are expensive, it's an investment worth spending. There's a lot of places that don't like to have inspections done. It's expensive. It's a, it's a costly process. Costly or cheap, no one wants to deal with a false alarm. Here's the takeaway. Check your fire alarms. Do it frequently and make sure your batteries are charged completely. And if you own a business, don't be afraid to call a specialist to make sure your building is secure and safe. Live in Springfield Firehouse, Evan Peterson, News Channel 20 at 10.